pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Danker, would you do the roll call, please? Mayor Steam. Present. Councilmember at Large Austin. Present. Councilmember Fisher. Present. Baskin. Present. Helly. Present. Waller. Present. King. Present. Pashusta. Present. Um, you have a quorum, Your Honor. Sorry. Okay. Item number one, we need a motion for adoption, adoption of the agenda. I believe we have additions. With, with, adi with additions. With additions. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Item two is a motion approving the minutes from April 1st, 2019. We need a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Under recognition and award, proclamation declaring April 29th, 2019 Arbor Day and May 2019 Arbor Day. Okay. Okay, whereas trees and forests, I Kim, I should have you reading this. You want to read this? It's your deal. It's a lot of reading. I'll read it. It's a Mayor's Park proclamation. <laughs> trees and forests keep our lakes and streams clean by absorbing and filtering pollutants and sediments and whereas Forests prevent flooding and reduce stormwater by capturing and storing rainwater and snow melt, which is then slowly released to our lakes, streams, and groundwater. And whereas care careful management of our trees and forests protects drinking water and reduces the cost of water treatment. And whereas sound management of forested land surrounding the Mississippi River ensures clean drinking water for more than one million Minnesotans. And whereas about three quarters of Minnesota's get their drinking water from the forested parts of the state and where is planting and maintaining trees is a natural and easy way to keep our water clean and whereas the last friday in april through the month of may minnesotans pay special tribute to our trees as natural resources and delicate and dedicate ourselves to the vitality of our forest now therefore I, Thomas Steen, Mayor of the City of Austin, Minnesota, do hereby proclaim Friday, April 26, 2019 as Arbor Day and do hereby proclaim the month of May 2019 as Arbor, Arbor Month in the City of Austin. Kim, did you want to, you were telling me this is 40 years? We no. got a, Tree do you want to speak on that? Tree City is 40 years. Yeah. Mayor Roger. and Council, yes, we were really pleased to find out that we were awarded 40 years of Tree City USA for our application that was sent in in 2018. So it's, it's, we'll be changing the signs at the, in the city, there's right now there's Tree City USA signs. We'll be changing those two out to a, a nice plaque and we have a flag too that says 40 years and hopefully we'll be able to get it hung like below our flag here at City Hall. Okay. We're working on that. I don't know if the ropes will do it, but it was something not, we, th we'll we make, talked we'll about. Fix it so it does one way or the other. Well, thank, thank you. you. Uh, okay, and number four then, we need a motion for the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number five is a motion receiving bids for street reconstruction on 6th Street Northeast. Stephen. In order to develop the assessment rates for the 6th Street Northeast project, we needed to take bids first. Um, at the last council meeting, council decided to delay that project or cancel that project until a future year. So at this time, we would request that council reject all bids that were received for this project. We need a motion rejecting all bids. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number six is a resolution receiving bids for seasonal supply of bituminous materials. Stephen. This is the material that we use, our street crews use for patching the streets. This isn't for uh, paving major roadways or anything like that. It's our city crews. They go over and they pick up the asphalt, they bring it back, and they use it for patching on a daily basis um, or doing some small paving repairs. We take bids on this every year, and there's also a component of mileage that we take into account. Uh, in this case, Ulam Brothers were the low bidder. Uh, with their base bid of $241,875 when including the mileage factor comes to a total amount of $277,695. This comes out of our street and highway budget and we would recommend awarding the bid to Ulan Brothers. Council, any questions? Comment? If not, we need a resolution for six. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Mr. Nanker. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. 
King. Aye. Pashusta. Aye. Councilmember at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 7 is a resolution receiving bids for street reconstruction on 6th Street and 11th Avenue Northwest. Stephen? <laughs> Uh, this is year number two of the project in this area. Um, Ulan Brothers were the low bid at $1,344,500.75. Funds for this work are broken out with our capital improvement fund. Uh, we have assessments as part of this project. Um, we also have funds for sanitary sewer through our wastewater treatment plant fund and storm sewer costs as well. So all those put together have the amount to the project total. This was uh, a little bit over our engineer's estimate, and that's mainly a reflection of increased uh, material costs from last year to this year. So we would recommend awarding this project to Eulen Brothers. Council, anything? Questions, comments? If not, we need a resolution for seven. So move. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Van Gerks. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Washusta. Aye. Councilman at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. I forgot to say, here's your plaque for Arbor Day. We'll put that somewhere oh, nice. Tree City. Or Tree City, I'm sorry. Okay, 8 is the resolution receiving bids for a Baldwin lift station removal and 6th Avenue Northwest Mill and Overlay. Stephen? Yes, this project, uh, you may recall, we bid last summer and received uh, very high bids. I think our bids last summer were around $900,000 for this project. Uh, through the winter, we looked at how we could uh, provide some cost savings on the project by reusing uh, some of the existing materials. And we also added additional work to it. And by bidding during a better bidding climate, um, by, adding, by revising the bid slightly, adding additional work, our bids actually came in under what they were last summer, which is a good thing. Elcor Construction was the low bidder at seven hundred and forty thousand dollars, two hundred and excuse me, seven hundred and forty thousand, two hundred and forty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, majority of this will come out of our wastewater treatment plant fund because we'll be removing a lift station and installing some new gravity sanitary sewer. But we also have some roadway mill and overlay that will come out of our capital improvement fund. So we would recommend awarding the bid to Elcor. Council, anything? If not, we need a resolution for eight. So I'll move the resolution. There's a second. Second. Mr. Dankert. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Bushusta. Aye. Council Member at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Number nine is resolution approving change order number one on the low rate filter building demolition contract. Stephen? Last fall, uh, we awarded a bid for demolition of our low-rate filter building at the wastewater treatment plant. That bid was awarded to Cook, Inc. They're out of Leroy, Minnesota. Um, demo of this building has gone very well. It's, it's actually one of the original buildings at the wastewater treatment plant, and our goal is to demo the building to make room for future improvements. And through the process of demolition, we found a couple items that were not called out in the original demo plan. One was a, a buried footing that we were unaware was there, and the other one is a, a buried pipe that, based on our information, we thought had been killed or disconnected, discontinued with a previous project, but it was not. So uh, to complete those two extra items, we've received an estimate for that work of $22,500. This would bring the, with this change order, it would bring the total project cost to $209,000 for this demolition. Uh, with funds coming out of our wastewater treatment plant fund, and we would recommend approving this change order with uh, Cook, Inc. for this additional demolition work. Council, any questions or comments? If not, we need a resolution for number nine. So I'll move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Danker. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Bushusta. Aye. Council Member at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 10 is resolution approving a farm lease for the Cook Farm. Stephen? Over the last few years, we've been working with uh, Kevin Finley for rental of the Cook Farm. Um, we have about 133 acres out there in total. Some of it is productive land that can be row cropped, and other is grassland. We've identified two separate rates for uh, each of the different property located out there with a total uh, revenue of $27,025 for, uh, this would be over the, each year over the course of a two-year lease. 
Um, there are some costs for the city in that we, because we create revenue from this property, we have to pay property taxes on it. So there are property tax costs that are associated with it. Uh, but we would recommend awarding a two-year contract with Kevin Finley for 2019 and 2020. Mm -hmm. Council, anything? If not, we need a resolution for 10. So move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Minker. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Pachusta. Aye. Council Member at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 11 is a resolution approving a farm lease for the Anderson Farm. This farm is uh, part of our airport acquisition that we did uh, 10 years ago. And it is outside of the airport fence, but it is within some of our clear zone space. So we're able to farm this land as cropland. Uh, you may notice that the rate for this property is different than the previous one, and that's because this site is uh, it's smaller in that it's 32 acres, but that 32 acres is also broken up into three smaller chunks, each one about uh, 10 acres each. So um, because it's broken down, because there's more end rows, all those sorts of things, farmers aren't as efficient, so the, the lease rate is less. Uh, total for this property per year would be $5,440, and again, uh, because we are making revenue on it, we have to pay taxes, but we would recommend a two-year lease with Lokes Farms for 2019 and 2020 for this property. Any questions, Council? Comments? If not, we need a resolution for 11. So moved. Uh, Mr. Bangert? Council Member Fisher? Aye. Baskin? Aye. Helly? Aye. Waller? Aye. King. Aye. Bashusta. Aye. Council Member at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 12 is a motion approving the sale of public works equipment. Mr. Lang. With the upcoming police auction, we would request to place these two items on the police auction for sale. Uh, they're no longer used in our fleet, and we would request approval for sale of these items. Any questions? Comments? If not, we need a motion for 12. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. 13 is resolution approving a contract for the removal of the Imhoff building at the wastewater treatment plant. Mr. Lang. Yeah, so this is in connection with uh, the demolition that we're currently doing at the treatment plant. Um, the Imhoff tank, again, is one of our original um, buildings that was located at the treatment plant for processing wastewater. It was built in the 1930s. And it became obsolete with um, improvements that we made in the late 1990s. So that building and the one that we're currently demoing, the low-rate filter building, both became um, no longer needed for use. In the early 2000s, we hired a contractor as part of a larger project to demo the Imhoff tank. And uh, they, things were, they ran into difficulties after about half or two-thirds of the building was demoed and they were not able to complete the remainder of the demolition. Um, mainly due to the strong concrete that was used back in the day and the amount of rebar that is in this uh, building. We, we have talked with uh, the current contractor that is demoing the low-rate filter building. He, early on when he got um, the low-rate filter project, he asked right away about this Emhoff building if we wanted him to remove the remainder. And we thought, well, let's, let's see how this first project goes first. Um, and actually, he's done a great job. He's done a very good job of uh, keeping the site clean. Uh, he's got the right equipment to demo everything. So we think that he is uh, capable of removing the remainder of the Imhoff tank. Um, normally, with a project like this, we would advertise it for bids. But in this case, we have a capable contractor on site. Um, this would also be a very difficult project to bid in that it's all buried right now. Um, so we're, we're basing these costs off from um, photos and researching old plans. He also has some, you know, a little bit of institutional knowledge of what's there just based on working on the low rate filter building. So after reviewing all of that with our city attorney, um, we feel that it's a, it's a good price and it's a good reason to continue with this same contractor. Um, but being it is a different building, we didn't want to do a change order, but rather a separate contract for this removal. So he has given us a price of 100, uh, Cook Inc. has given us a price of $107,000 with, with an additional cost of $65 per cubic yard of any concrete that he finds outside of the building or anything unexpected. Um, with that, 
we would recommend awarding this contract to Cook Inc. for removal of this Emhoff tank. And again, this space is planned for future use of our expansion and our improvements that we're planning over the next five years at the treatment plant. Okay, council, we need a resolution for 13. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Dankert. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Pashusta. Aye. Councilmember at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 14 is a motion waiving the annual audit for the Blazing Star Trail. Tom? Uh, there's a joint powers agreement between the City of Austin and the City of Albert Lee that was entered into in 2001 where each entity put in 5000 bucks into a checking account to uh, hopefully use those dollars and additional state funding to create a trail <coughs> between the two communities. Uh, that funding has not come to fruition, but the joint powers agreement that's still into effect says we're required to have an audit every year. Well, last year we had $7 of interest on it, and I really don't want to spend two grand to have an audit on $7. So once again, we've requested uh, Elbert Lee to pass a motion waiving such, and they've done it. And now we're asking council to do the same, and we'll just do an audit if and when we ever get money. All right. We need a motion for 14. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. 15 is motion approving the sale of an outfield temporary fence. Kim? Thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, this fence is a temporary fence we put up for girls fast pitch so that you have a 200 foot fence line. And as you can see, they were purchased in 04 and 05 and they out, um, they've, they're broken. Some of them are broken. We don't have all the panels to do all five fields any longer. And so we've purchased some different outfield fence and would like to sell this on bid. You're limited to maybe who would want to bid on this type of fence. We may have a possibility for someone to do that. Okay, council, you have any questions? If not, we need a motion for 15. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All 16 is a motion reviewing a sign appeal requested by Innovative Signs of OBO Campus View Suites. Ms. Wallace? Yes, Your Honor and Council, uh, at the April 10th, 2019 meeting of the Austin Planning Commission, the Commission reviewed a request from Innovative Signs on behalf of Campus View Suites, LLC. Uh, that property was recently purchased uh, and the owner wishes to identify uh, their two separate properties under one ownership and, uh, and the location of their office. They, uh, after reviewing the Planning Commission with seven members present, recommended approving the appeal uh, seven to zero, finding that based on the information provided, the additional signs were necessary to clarify that the two properties, which look different and are located some distance apart, um, are under one management and to direct the, the public generally. Okay, council, any questions? If not, we need a motion for 16, approving or denying. Uh, make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. 17 is a motion. Reviewing a sign appeal requested by Innovative Science OBO Scott Swayman. Uh Once again, Holly. Uh, Your Honor, this one can be removed from the agenda. I was able to find a provision that will actually allow the uh, sign as requested by the petitioner. Okay, thank you. 18 then is a resolution approving a settlement agreement and general, general release for Danny R. Rorton. Craig? Uh, unless there's any questions, we'd ask for a motion from the council. So moved. Second. Um, Mr. Banker. Council Member Fisher? Aye. Baskin? Aye. Helly? Aye. Waller? Aye. King? Aye. Pashusta. Aye. Council Member at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 19 is a motion approving a feasibility report for the Banshell Park Sanitary Sewer Improvement Project. Mr. Wang. Hold on one second. I didn't have that one marked in my iPad. Sure. <laughs> You want us to go on and come back? I mean, if it's going to take a second. It's no, it'll just be a second. <laughs> Is this number 19? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It was 19. Uh, all right. I'm there. It's 19 and a half now. Okay. <laughs> um, in recent years, uh, as part of our I&I program, we've looked at ways to reduce 
um, inflow and infiltration into the sanitary sewer system. And with our flood mitigation program, when we removed all of those homes in the Banshell Park area, Main Street, First Street Southwest, Second Street Southwest, a lot of those sanitary sewer mains remained in there, even though we capped the services. Um, in recent years, we've been able to consolidate some of those sewer lines, and, and this will kind of be the culmination of that, where um, we will build one line from, um, in Banshell Park, what, what used to be First Street, we build that from Ninth Place going north, um, and that line will then eliminate, it'll replace the existing line and eliminate two other lines. So by doing this, we think there'll be a great reduction in inflow and infiltration into the system. In order to do that, uh, we'll need to remove portions of Veterans Pavilion parking lot, that, that parking lot that's right between the Banshell and Veterans Pavilion. We'll also need to remove the trail that goes north from that parking lot and some trees. Um, but overall, we see this as a benefit to our overall sanitary sewer collection system with an estimated cost of $230,000. And again, this cost would come from our wastewater treatment plant fund. There would be, uh, nobody would be assessed as part of this project. So this would be a motion requesting approval of this uh, feasibility report. Council, any questions or comments? If not, we need a motion <coughs> approving the feasibility report. So moved, is there a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, 20 is series of motions granting the planning and zoning department of power to contract for the removal of junk and or illegally stored vehicles at the following locations a 1024 second avenue northeast to con property need a motion so moved. second all in favor aye, aye. Opposed. b is 1209 fourth avenue northwest of garcia property need a motion so moved second on favor aye, aye. aye. And finally, C is 1208 Fifth Avenue Northwest to Matter Property. Need a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, 21 is a resolution declaring the first Saturday in October each year is International Migratory Bird Day in the city of Austin. You gotta be kidding me. Go ahead, you, Kim. You this did. is a new one. I haven't heard of this before. Okay. Okay, so you don't have to read this whole thing because it's rather lengthy. I want. But so Terry <laughs> Taylor from the Austin Audubon and Luke and I were working on, they wanted to, they came to us to see if we could become Bird City, Minnesota. So there are a few of those already in place and it ha you have to do a um, celebration. So they picked October because they do some bird things already at the Nature Center. And as you could see from the, in, in your packet, you know, the Bird City, Minnesota has a, all this checklist. We have all of them but two. So I think if we turn this in, I think we're gonna, we're gonna be pretty golden. But um, it's, it's a pretty cool thing I for the question. birders. So we're already Tree City. And then we're gonna be Tree City and Bird City. So we put little birds on the trees and all of our emblems on the trucks and Maybe, stuff. maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. What kind of birds? Put a little bird on the whatever, whatever kind of birds you like. Woodpecker. Whatever kind of bird. <laughs> okay. So we, they want to go forth and turn in the application to see if. Oh if no, it's a good thing. I, I, yeah, I don't mean is. to make fun of it. It's a good thing. And, and so and they've gone through a lot of work to, to do this. I mean, the application isn't small. No, so. <laughs> okay. So Should we like be celebrating when they come in? We don't want yeah. them to leave. It's winter then. That's how we well, they are. in May they do some birding <laughs> things too, but. It, every, everyone's so busy that sometimes that is a hard thing, but we also have migratory bird things in October. So there's always time to celebrate an event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Council, any more questions on this? If not, we need a resolution for 21. So move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Dankert. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Haley. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Washusta. Aye. Councilmember at Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. And finally, 22 is a resolution approving a labor agreement <laughs> addendum for the police supervisors <laughs> group to participate in a health care savings plan. Ms. Sweetman. Yes, Mayor and Council. Uh, before you tonight is uh, approval of an addendum the labor agreement for the police su supervisors group, and it's for their health care savings plan administered by the Minnesota State Retirement Systems. Um, the state uh, MSRS has already approved the language, and so it's just uh, it's very similar to the one you approved earlier this year for AFSCME. Um, so it's just recommended approval. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, council, any questions? If not, we need a resolution for 22. So move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Nankers. Council Member Fisher. Aye. Baskin. Aye. Helly. Aye. Waller. Aye. King. Aye. Pashusta. Aye. Councilmember Council Member Large Austin. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Well, we've come to the portion where we're done with our uh, agenda. Are there any citizens here that want to address the council on anything? Okay, if not, then we go to reports and recommendations. Paul, we'll start with you. Nothing, Your Honor. Yep. Nothing, Jason? Your Honor. Nothing. Yep. Nothing, Your Honor. Nothing. Steve? Nothing, Your Honor. Craig will have something. Uh, yes, Mayor. Uh, we were, <laughs> we were uh, fortunate to have Governor Walls come uh, to Maurer County and meet with us at the uh, Guard Armory and uh, talk about some of the down, down power poles and the difficulty dealing with that in terms of public safety and the help of the guard so it was nice to welcome the governor here on Saturday and we'll be fortunate enough to have him back here on Tuesday at 3 p.m. to um, tour our uh, wastewater treatment plant uh, not the most glamorous place to take him in Austin but it's where the day-to-day uh, -day and hard work of city governments takes place so uh, we look forward to having him here for that and learning about what goes on at our plant um, otherwise uh, I'd like to introduce Kevin Nelson uh, he's joining us as the new Park and Rec Director. Most recently was from Purim and worked on the Rec Center there and before that was in Marshall. Uh, I'll have the fortunate opportunity to work with Kim for a good time here so we're very thankful uh, that there'll be some overlap there and Kim can download her um, extensive knowledge to him and uh, help get him off on a great first step. Um, Kevin, do you want to address the council at all? Well, welcome aboard. Welcome. welcome, welcome, Kevin. Um, and then the only other thing, I believe Julie has an item or two that she'd like to share with the public and council. Yes, I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that to, starting today, the um, Friends of the Library are accepting donations for the book sale. So today through the 24th, and then the book sale is the 26th and the 27th with the special members only pre-sale on Thursday, April 25th. So if anybody wants to bring some books down, we are accepting them now. Thank you. Okay, um, that it? That's it. If nothing else, Rain, we'll get comments from you after the work session. I, he's got, they got an event he wants to tell us about, I think. But with that, we need a motion to adjourn to <coughs> May 6, 2019 at 5.30 in the council chambers. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, we're going to stay in here. Should we take a short break, Tom? Do you have to get set up? Take a short break, oh, and then we're going to come back in here. Set up. Uh, we'll come right in and we'll come back. No, All right. So we'll take a break. Kim? Kim, you want?